Hello everyone! I have selected for you a collection of practical and incredibly useful kitchen hacks. Let's get started! What do you usually do with potato, carrot or beet peels? Do you discard them? Please don't! They can be repurposed to create tasty chips. Just add a bit of oil and your favorite spices, mix well and pop them into the air fryer for 15 minutes. The result? Crispy and appetizing chips. Just make sure to clean off any dirt before you start. Run out of napkins? Here's a quick fix. Toilet paper can serve as a substitute. Simply remove the cardboard tube in the middle. You'll have a roll that maintains its structure, with each sheet easily separable. Did you know how straightforward it is to sharpen the knife of your home meat grinder? Here's the method. Take a piece of sandpaper and the meat grinder plate. Cut the sandpaper into a circle the same diameter as the plate. Assemble the meat grinder, placing the sandpaper between the knife and the plate. Then operate the grinder for 5 minutes. The grinder's knife will come out sharpened and exceedingly sharp. If you find yourself with an empty cardboard chip tube, don't be quick to discard it. It can double as an ice cream mold. First, we need to prepare the ice cream. Whip chilled cream for 10 minutes. Next, add condensed milk and mix again. Subsequently, use a knife to create slits at around 3 cm intervals for the insertion of ice cream sticks. Fill the tube with the ice cream mixture, insert the sticks and place the entire setup in the freezer. After roughly 6 hours, the ice cream should be thoroughly frozen. At this point, you can slice the tube into individual portions. For an additional touch of indulgence, consider crafting a chocolate glaze for your homemade popsicles. Conveniently and easily chop a large bunch of green onions, a simple paper towel can come in handy. Just wrap the bunch in it and start chopping.
Alternatively, you can use a rubber band to keep them together. If you find your butter too hard and need to soften it quickly, this hack is for you. Simply pour boiling water into a glass, empty it, then cover the butter with a warm glass for a few minutes. Look how soft butter becomes. It's highly effective and incredibly quick. Did you know that it is more convenient to store a cake in a plastic container if you invert it, so that the lid serves as the base? It makes both transportation and removal of the cake much easier. When storing berries in the fridge, moisture often accumulates in their packaging, causing them to spoil rapidly. To prevent this, place a paper towel in the tray and flip it over. This method will significantly extend the freshness of your berries. Now let me show you an innovative hack using a Kinder Surprise egg to create the most delicious ice cream. Firstly, carefully open the Kinder egg into two halves and remove the toy. Next, take a yogurt-based dessert. Mix the yogurt with the filling and spoon it into the chocolate egg halves. Insert a popsicle stick and wrap your yogurt kinder ice cream with foil. Freeze it for about 3 to 4 hours. Do you have a passion for tacos but often grapple with tortillas that won't hold their shape? Allow me to introduce you to three reliable and effortless techniques. The first one using a toaster. Slide your tortilla into the toaster slots. Ensure it's evenly placed to achieve the perfect curve as it toasts, giving your taco a crispy touch. Second, microwave glass cup technique. Place the tortilla into a microwave safe glass cup, pressing it gently to fit the contours of the glass. By microwaving it for 30 seconds, the tortilla not only adopts a cup like form, but also achieves a dry and crunchy texture. Third, oven baking. Simply lay your tortilla over the gaps in an oven rack, creating a U-shape. 
Bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes. This method gives you a uniformly heated and shaped tortilla, ideal for those oven fresh taco nights. If you have a blunt knife and lack a sharpening stone, toothpaste and a ceramic dish can come to your rescue. Here's why toothpaste works. It contains tiny abrasive particles that help in honing the blade. While not a perfect solution, it's definitely better than dealing with a dull knife. Do you often find yourself dealing with oil running down the side of the bottle when you pour? Want to prevent this from happening? You just need a cotton pad. Make two cuts in it to form a cross and slip it onto the bottle. Now instead of running down the side, the oil will be caught by this makeshift barrier. Here's another useful kitchen hack to prevent your sink from clogging. You can fashion a basket for solid food waste from a plastic bottle. Just cut the top and make a few drainage holes in it. Don't rush to discard the jar when you finish a jar of jam. By adding vegetable oil, apple cider vinegar, mustard and a touch of salt, then giving it a good mix, you can create a delightful dressing for a summer salad. If you enjoyed the video, Please share it on your social media and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.